We usually say that the displacement of cars is 1.5, 2.0. How do these numbers come about? What is displacement and what is its role? The displacement of a car is one of the most important factors affecting the power of a car. In the ordinary household market, it can even be said that the larger the displacement, the greater the power. At the same time, the higher the fuel consumption. The power of the car comes from the four-stroke work of the engine. The fuel burns inside the engine. The heat generated pushes the engine piston. It is converted into mechanical energy, which is the power of the car. At the same time, to generate more mechanical energy, more fuel must be burned, and more fuel must be allowed to enter the engine cylinder. Methods to improve fuel combustion efficiency at the same time. Under normal circumstances, there are four ways. The first is to make the engine cylinder larger, and at the same time, let more fuel enter the cylinder for combustion, and the power generated will naturally be greater. Second, increase the engine speed. Although the quantity of the fuel burned in one operation has not changed, the speed of the operation is faster. The maximum speed of ordinary family cars is generally only 7,000 RPM, but the maximum speed of F1 cars can reach 20,000 RPM, and the power is also improved. But if you want to increase the speed, you must also improve the process accuracy of the engine. The manufacturing cost is too high, so in the ordinary family car market, it is impossible to give you an engine with a speed of 20,000 RPM. Third, increase the intake volume of the engine. At the same time, more air enters the engine, and it can be mixed with more fuel for combustion. So there are two ways of supercharging, turbocharging and mechanical supercharging. Mechanical supercharging is relatively rare. What we often see is turbocharging, abbreviated as T, 1.5T, 2.0T, which means that the engine with a displacement of 1.5 or 2.0 uses turbocharging technology. Fourth, improve combustion efficiency. The best air-fuel ratio for fuel combustion is 1 to 14.7. That is, 1 kilogram of fuel is equivalent to 14.7 kilograms of air. However, the air-fuel ratio of today's cars has basically reached its limit, and there is no room for improvement. Therefore, in the ordinary family car market, there are only two ways to improve vehicle power. Making the engine cylinder larger, and increasing the engine's intake volume, and using turbocharging technology. Now let's get back to the issue of car displacement. Displacement refers to the volume of the engine cylinder, the distance the piston moves from the upper pointer to the lower pointer. That is, the space the piston moves. That is, the volume of the cylinder. The sum of the cylinder capacity of the entire engine is the displacement of the engine. For example, a four-cylinder engine has a displacement of 2.0 liters, which means that its single-cylinder volume is 0.5 liters. The displacement of a three-cylinder engine is 1.6 liters. That means its single-cylinder capacity is 0.53 liters. The displacement of a six-cylinder engine is 4.0 liters. Then its single-cylinder capacity is 0.67 liters. So the larger the displacement of the car, the larger the cylinder capacity of the entire engine. At the same time, more fuel is burned, more mechanical energy is generated. The stronger the power, the higher the fuel consumption. If there is a T after the displacement, it means that turbocharging technology is used. In theory, turbocharging can increase the power of the engine by 20% to 50%. Different manufacturers have different tuning and different effects. So a 2.0 T engine is basically equivalent to a naturally aspirated engine between 2.5 and 3.0. Remember to like and follow for more informative 3D mechanics.